Did you know the average German man is taller than the average American at 5 feet 9 inches, 176.1 centimeters, or Japanese at 5 feet 7 inches, 171 centimeters, and nearly as tall as the Dutch, the world's tallest at 6 feet, 183 centimeters? That's a pretty big leap over the last century. Hello and welcome back to How to Grow Taller, where we explore the science behind height and growth. Today, we're diving into why Germans are among Europe's tallest, from genetics and nutrition to lifestyle and healthcare, and what their story can tell us about how humans grow taller over time. So, let's start with the basics. According to recent data from World Population Review, the average height for men in Germany is about 5 feet 11 inches, 180 centimeters. For women, it's about 5 feet 5 inches, 166 centimeters. These numbers place Germany among the world's taller countries, far above the global averages of 5 feet 7 inches, 170 centimeters, for men, and 5 feet 3 inches, 160 centimeters, for women. But it wasn't always that way. Let's rewind a bit to see how they got here. If we look back about a hundred years, Germans weren't always this tall. In the early 1900s, German men were only around 167 centimeters tall. Over the decades, that number kept climbing by more than 3.9 inches, 10 centimeters, overall, thanks to improvements in nutrition, healthcare, and living standards. Scientists call this the secular trend, a steady increase in height that happens when people's overall health improves. However, in recent years, that growth has started to slow down to less than one centimeter per decade. Experts think Germany may be reaching what they call its height ceiling. Basically, the point where average height stops increasing because living conditions are already near optimal. With all that progress in mind, not everyone in Germany grew at the same rate. So let's zoom in on the differences across the country. People living in northern areas like Hamburg or Schleswig-Holstein tend to be a little taller, averaging around 5 feet 8 inches, 173 centimeters, than those in the south like Saarland or Saxony at about 5 feet 6 inches, 171 centimeters. Although this difference isn't huge, it reflects both genetics and local lifestyle differences. The North has more Scandinavian ancestry and diets rich in fish, dairy, and vegetables, while the South leans more on meats and potatoes, which might lack some balanced micronutrients. So, what exactly makes people in Germany as tall as they are? A lot of it comes down to a mix of genetics and environment. Genetics set the blueprint, but things like nutrition, sleep, exercise, and overall health decide how much of that potential you actually reach. Germany has a strong tradition of balanced diets and active lifestyles, and that makes a big difference. We know that protein, calcium, and vitamin D are key nutrients for bone growth. And guess what? Germans eat plenty of protein from meat, dairy, fish, and legumes, fueling stronger muscles and bones. Studies like the Donald study show that German teens who eat more dairy and fish tend to grow taller as adults. Then there's exercise, another major factor. Germany's active lifestyle helps stimulate growth hormones naturally. Children often join sports clubs early. About 65% of secondary school students participate in organized activities like soccer, swimming, and running. That culture of movement helps keep them growing healthy and strong. Healthcare is another piece of the puzzle. Regular checkups allow doctors to track growth patterns and detect issues early, giving every child the best chance to grow to their full potential. All these things together, good nutrition, plenty of movement, and strong healthcare, create the conditions where people can reach their full genetic height potential. Now pulling it all together, remember that being taller or shorter than average doesn't define your health or potential. Height is influenced by so many factors, and each person's body develops in its own time and way. So, what can we take away from Germany's example? It shows how environment, diet, healthcare, and lifestyle can all combine to shape population height over generations. And it's a great reminder that while genetics matter, what you do every day, for instance, how you eat, sleep, and move, matters too. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and share it with a friend who's curious about growth and development. And if you live in Germany or have German roots, let us know in the comments. How tall are you? And do you think your lifestyle played a role? Thanks for watching How to Grow Taller. See you next time.